Okay, so what we're going to be doing here um, inside of Autodesk Inventor is we're going to be working with the parameters options. Autodesk Inventor creates different naming conventions for specified dimensions as we generate models inside the Inventor interface. This allows us to actually use those parameters and start working with those parameters inside Excel. What this means is we can start to change actual dimensions from inside of Microsoft Excel and have it affect or update our model inside of Autodesk Inventor. So here I've used just a data validation list inside of Excel. I can use all the functionality to make changes for this specified model. I'm going to go ahead and make some of these dimension changes and we'll take a look at how it affects the uh, overall model itself. So we're changing this dimension from 16 to 24. We're changing this dimension from 0.25 to 5. We're changing this angular dimension from 147 to 150. Let's go ahead and close down the Excel spreadsheet. And update this model. Literally, the dimensions change immediately. So we have the flexibility to be able to work with Excel tables outside of Autodesk Inventor and make these, changing, these changes accordingly. All the changes were made automatically. It also affects the components inside the actual drawing file. So everything's going to update automatically, making it very easy for, to, for us to work with this information. So let's go ahead and make some of those changes back and just take a look at how this affects the overall model again. We'll go ahead and change this back to 16. We'll go ahead and say, I want to use a new value of 0.5, for example, and maybe I want to keep that angular dimension at 147 degrees. Again, go ahead and save that off. Updates occur on the overall model here, and then the drawing updates also occur automatically for us. Really, this is going to save us a lot of time, especially if you're working on components that you're uh, building over and over and over again that have very similar features to them. You can, you can make reuse of models um, without having to rebuild uh, each individual part in your assembly over and over again.